Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today we will be discussing up a pretty quick way of making this animation but without using the Gmate option of SOLIDWORKS and again in this tutorial you don't require any particular knowledge of the various gear parameters such as the addendum base circle diameter etc. So first of all we will be concentrating on the construction of the spur gear. So here uh, the shaft can be easily made using the extruded boss command option so this is not particularly tough and while making the spur gear First of all, uh, you can just make this tooth using the simple commands such as straight line, uh, spleen, etc. And then you can use the circular sketch pattern option. Uh, click on this point and then uh, type in the number of instances here. So after making this, uh, we'll go to the bevel gear creation. And again here, the first important step is uh, to make this frustum which you can easily make by providing here the draft angle. So after doing this, uh, click on the spleen on surface option. So after doing this, click on the 3D plane option, select this point, select the line and click on perpendicular. So uh, this plane would basically get oriented in a perpendicular direction to this line and then you can just make on this the sketch of this gear tooth and after doing this you can uh, select in the features tab the swept boss space option and create this tooth and after doing this um, we can go for the circular pattern option and type in the number of instances here and select the axis of the gear which is this one so after doing this we would be talking about how we can create uh, this model so here the first thing is the degree of freedom of each of these gears has to be restricted to one so what i did was that i first of all selected the front plane and made, made, made a search of a straight line on this and then click on the mate option and then mated the axis of the bevel gear with the straight line and use the coincident mate option. Similar procedure can be rep, uh, done for the spur gear as well. So after doing this, if we'll just move up the components, so as we can see, it has only one degree of freedom and the other important part is the teeth of this gear are interfering with the teeth of the a uh, bevel gear so uh, what you can now do is a very simple thing go to the motion study click on the motion analysis tab and then select solid body contact and then apply a rotary motor to the spur gear or whichever gear you wish to and after doing this play on the motion so again here if you basically see the solid body contact option plays a very similar role to the gear mate option which you can find in the mate tab and therefore this method is very effective in creating complex mechanisms involving gears and therefore in the next video i'll be showing you how we can create an open differential of a car and thanks for watching and feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to the channel if you like i will be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead thanks